Good evening. I am Sudarshan Sukhani, and today is April 4, Monday, 2022. Well, what a day it was. Early morning before the markets opened, the HDF HDFC twins said they are going to merge. HDFC will merge into HDFC Bank, which will make HDFC Bank the bank of all banks. I mean, really big. And the markets went crazy after that. The Nifty actually closed almost 400 points up from Friday's close. And Friday itself was a very big close. It wasn't small. Large gap up and then very large up move. I have told you many times in these videos that we always go with the trend. We never challenge the trend. We never say it has gone up so much, it can't go up higher. Well, as you found out, as I find out, it can go higher and sometimes it does. Now, there is something else and that is that all trends will come to an end someday. At least they will pause. But we do not know when they will come to an end. So, we don't try to find out. We just say if momentum is on the upside, we are buyers. There will come a day when our buying will not yield the right desired results. And that day will come. So, that's okay. You make money and then you lose some money. But if you don't enter the market, you make nothing. And the second point is, if you start challenging the market, then you miss very big moves. So, always my idea is to try and go with the flow of the market. We are now going to have a look at the video uh, using the chart and see how daily charts are shaping up. But let me tell you, they are just going up. Still, we will have a look at the charts. This is the daily chart for the Nifty. Most viewers are now uh, accustomed to this chart which I show. These are candlesticks, white candles, black candles and of course these are white candles. Uh, I have now applied a simple zero lag moving average. The zero lag moving averages respond much faster than traditional moving averages. You know life changes. There is internet now. There, are, there is 5G. 25 years ago there was no internet and there was nothing called a mobile phone. If we can adapt to the internet, if we can adapt to the mobile phone, why can't we take new and modern indicators and use them? So many people say, no, no, I don't understand it. But you are using a mobile phone. You did not understand what a mobile phone was 25 years ago, but still you are using it. Anyway, my point was that new and modern indicators exist and we must use them. So the indicator turned up here. Since then, it has been going and rising, rising, rising. So, the trend has never been challenged. If the trend is not been challenged, all we can identify are consolidations, narrow ranges because the trend is up. Purely on a chart basis, the market has been making higher highs, higher lows. No question about the trend, whether you follow the indicator or whether you follow the price chart. At simply, the trend is up. If the trend is up, we want to buy. Now, at some point, this trend will stop. Let's examine where these possibilities exist. This is where we are now on a weekly chart. This is 18,350 in January and 18,600 in October. So perhaps one of these previous high highs would act as resistance. Once 18,600 is crossed, then we are at lifetime highs in the Nifty and a new bull run is possible. So all these are questions. Maybe this zone of 18,350 could act as resistance. This is all maybes. I'm just looking at some figures. It doesn't actually change the short term momentum. So the trend is up. We have looked at the weekly chart just for our curiosity. We don't challenge the trend. Go with the flow. Enjoy yourself. Have a lot of fun. Jai Hind.